Welcome back to Valley Life. I'm Alicia Safias, and right now is a perfect time for everyone to get their cars tuned up, ready for the warmer weather. I am here at Johnson's Auto Repair in Clovis, and I'm joined by the family team of Rex Johnson and Tim Johnson. And it really is a family affair here. Let's talk to you first, Rex. How did you get started in this business? Well, actually, I went down to the unemployment office. I came out of the Army and went to the unemployment office and they sent me down to a garage and started work the next day. I wasn't even planning. I wanted to draw, draw unemployment. Never have drawn unemployment. I've been working never, in this business ever since. Wow, and you seem to enjoy it, obviously. I love working on cars, always have. When I was a kid, I just loved it. And then I, when I got a job working in auto repair, thing, man, I'm actually gonna get paid to do this. So I've always loved working on cars. You loved it so much that you kind of wanted to establish something for your family and you had sons and you thought it would be a great business and that's how this came about. Mm -hmm. Kind of tell us this story. Well, my sons has always been around. I've had a shop in, in, since 1979 and when they were little kids, I used to pick them up after school and weekends and all summer they would spend time down in the shop. They were just greasy from head to toe when they were <laughs> little kids. So they've been around this all their life. And I was really surprised that they continued on with it, you know. They they like working on cars too. Yeah, they did. Let's talk to Tim for a minute. All right, so it's in your blood, so to speak, and you kind of took up the business and it really is about family here. Do you it love is. working with your family? It is, it's fun. Um, where else can you go and get paid and just to hang out with your family all day, you know? Um, and we did kind of grow up around it. Just our whole life we were in it and running around playing and didn't even probably realize that we were picking up, you know, the trade at right. that time. We were just little kids having fun, but our whole life we've been here. And you have kind of a unique goal here. Tell us about that. You want people to really trust you guys. I think the goal is probably just to build an honest, respectable business that people can trust. That's, that's really all we're looking for. Um, I think if we do that, our family can be proud to be a part of it. So. And you also establish relationships with the community, with the customers, and they want to come back to you. And I think that that says a lot. It's kind of, we try to build like a friendship along with, you know, a business. So that's kind of what we're looking for. And it's nice. I know I like bringing my car somewhere where they know my car. And you can say, oh, you know, do you still have that problem? Or does that make a big difference? It does. Um, as long as you keep going to the same place and with the track record, it, it helps, you know, because you know what you've already done and what you've diagnosed, so it makes it easier. Yeah. Okay, Rex, we're talking about trust, and that's something that you said is very important to you. You like to treat the people like family, and mm -hmm. you treat the cars as if they were your own. That says, speaks volumes in this industry, yeah. because we're always worried about where we're taking our car, whether we're getting the best deal. Tell us why people can feel comfortable coming here. Well, because we treat people, you know, just like friends, you know, not like you go to a lot of places and everybody just so kind of stuck up and, you know, they act like they're, you know, they're not friendly or anything. And here you get, you know, you get a friendly feeling. We have one customer that came in and she said she likes coming in here because she gets a warm, fuzzy feeling. Oh. And, so, you know, it's just the way we are around here. We're talking about that warm, fuzzy feeling, and you actually are getting that even more so because your granddaughter is even getting in on the family business, and that kind of surprised you, huh? Yeah, it really did. She came down here last summer when she got out of school, and she said she's going to be down here all summer working. And, and I said, oh, you know, a couple of days of this, and she'll be gone. You'll never see it. She was down here every day from... 8 o'clock clear until closing time every day during the summer. She comes down here whenever she gets a chance and days are off at school. She's here all the time. She just loves working around this place. It's really exciting for me. Yeah, because now you know that it can stay in the family and you can keep on the tradition mm -hmm. and other families can keep yeah. coming here in the valley and bringing their cars and feeling comfortable. How many people can say their granddaughter works here? <laughs> That's very yeah. true. And lastly, Tim, what do you want people out there to know about how you treat their cars? Because it can be a sensitive thing. Uh, I think just that we'll treat it like it's our own car, and um, we'll do the you know do the job the way it's supposed to be done. We'll do deal dealership quality work um, with the family touch. That's that's what we're all about. So. That's perfect, and people can just come in and give you a call. Mm -hmm happy to take care of it. All right, perfect. Again, Johnson's Auto Repair here in Clovis, treating you like family from their family. And Valley Life will be right back.